Hello and welcome everybody, King Demps here bringing you another bite-sized breakdown. This time we're going to take a look at OG Esports versus Team Vitality. This is from the first map of their semi-final. And this is a point in which the half begins to turn. OG Esports, if they win this round, they probably get up to six as Vitality will be on a bad bite and they look pretty good to win the half. Whereas what actually happens is Vitality starts to turn the half around from this point. Now, I think this is a pretty well played round from both teams and we'll take a look at some key moments. But I just want to start off with this opening mid control. Now... As you can see, there is a smoke in window. OG Esports have thrown that all the way from spawn. So this is a out of spawn strat. They are going to go, as you can see, they've got four top mid here. Going for a very heavy mid control on Vitality's first proper gun round. Now, I think this might be a bit of a read from Alexi B. Because as you can see, Ziwoo is going for this aggressive peak. And before the smoke, as you can see, blooms at Ziwoo's feet. This is a very common smoke if you're going to jump out a window and do this peak. Flames, let's just take it back just a second. As you can see, Flames already has his molly out alexi b already has his molly out and they actually throw them as the small uh, as the smoke that zebra puts his feet blooms now i think this shows alexi b had a pretty good read of what vitality we're going to do and that zebra was going to make this peak it doesn't get anything done but as you can see it makes life uncomfortable for Zewu, and as a result, Zewu doesn't get anything off of this peak either the next point of interest that i want to explore is Vitality's rotations based off of the initial trade of utility that happens in mid. They don't get a huge amount of information in mid, but I think they can discern from the amount of grenades thrown that it was a pretty heavy mid presence. And as you can see, once those smokes fade, once Zewu gets himself out through connector, they very, very quickly change their setup based on the heavy mid presence that they think they've detected. So Zewu's actually made his way through connector and now is going to make his way through jungle to CT. And as you can see, Shox and Kyojin start to move towards A ramp to take an aggressive setup on A. I really like this move from Vitality. They discern that there's a lot of presence mid. They can infer from that that there probably isn't a lot of presence in A ramp. So they basically shift around their setup to have Zeru holding A from CT and get Kyojin and Shox up close and personal to have an aggressive hold. I really like this move from Vitality. And as you can see, together they investigate A ramp, see that there's nothing there, and they're going to get Kyojin set up on his own as the A anchor. Basically, just some very good proactive CT play from Vitality and an excellent rotation to kind of change their setup based on what they saw in middle. And as you can see, Zewu's focus is actually towards this mid angle. That is Zewu's job with this rotation. It's to get himself out of harm's way in middle, get round to CT, and then hold middle from. Now, as you can see here, OG Esports are setting up for an A hit. We're going to see Kyojin get one and done. Absolutely perfectly fine from Kyojin. That's all he needs to do as the A anchor. And he's called through the information to his team. Now, if we head back to here, what we're going to see from Team Vitality is a really nice proactive play to disrupt this A hit before it really gets going. And I love it. And the reason that they can go for this play is because they've got Kyojin set up aggressively in ramp for early information. And because they've got Shox nice and close so that he can support Kyojin or rather than support him directly, make this play he's about to make off the back of Kyojin's death. That all comes from the vitality switching of the setup on A once they'd had that trade of utility and trade of information in middle. So important to remember, vitality set themselves up to be able to make this play. Now, Shox is going to get really unfortunate. A flash comes from Ziwu into A ramp, as you can see, it's just been thrown now. That blinds all three of the A ramp players, and Shox doesn't get a single kill. He literally gets his head ripped off by a blind Valder, without giving any damage in return. Absolutely nothing wrong with that play. Shox and Zewu made an excellent play there, and they got very, very unfortunate that it didn't just stop the A hit in its tracks there. Now, as you can see, we're going to play this A hit out. Zewu doesn't have a lot of vision to play with. He's going to get flashed off here. Now, this is where the next very important play is made. Misuta is going to come through this smoke and get a kill. Now there, bang, he gets the kill. Now I think this is the first mistake that we're going to see in the round. I don't think Masuta should stick around after he's got this kill on Nico. OG know exactly where he is and he just gets sprayed down by Valda basically through the smoke before he gets to see Valda. I think Masuta should just get out of dodge there and turn it into a 3v3 retake. Instead he turns it into a 2v3 and leaves Apex and Ziwu with everything to do. 
Now, I think this is the next area where there is a mistake made. I think OG Esports don't have a chance to get the bomb down because they were a little bit slow in moving onto the site with their smokes. Their smokes are about to fade now. They chuck a smoke on the site to try and plant in it. I don't really think I can agree with that approach. They need to smoke off either CT, stairs or jungle. And the other two players need to be responsible for the angles they haven't smoked off. I think putting the smoke down on here and expecting Alexi B to just go flying into it without dying to jungle or connector. Does, I think that's a little bit optimistic. And I think that's one of those plays where in the heat of the moment, someone's gone, oh, quick, throw smoke down and jump in it with the bomb. I think that's probably Alexi B's made that play off his own back. I think with such low time, they've kind of panicked and not made the right decision there. I think giving themselves a better chance to win the round would be calmly smoke off jungle, Somebody holds stairs, somebody holds CT, Alexi go and put the bomb down. At least by doing that, they have a chance to refrag if somebody kills Alexi while he's crossing to the site. The way that Alexi B kind of does it, throws a smoke and goes running around with the bomb out, it's just not a great look. And it doesn't get anything done. We're going to play the round out a little bit here. Now, I like Zeru pushing aggressively into CT using that smoke that Alexi's put down. That smoke that Alexi put down actually ends up being such a, a, a pain for OG in this round because it gives Zeru some space to push in on CT. And as you can see, Val is going to straight up lose his duel with Apex and Connector. Not a lot that Valder can do there. He has to take this duel. I wonder if Mantu can be playing a little bit more actively in this round. I think sitting on Tetris, which he's basically done since the hit started, yeah, I think in a 5v5 hit, that's probably a completely correct decision to make. But I think once it goes down to like a 3v2 and a 2v2, I think Mantu needs to do something a little bit more proactive here at this point. As you can see, Valder's going to die. Mantu hits a very, very nice flick on a jumping Zewu here. Bam. Really, really nice flick. But unfortunately, there's no time left in the round and the round ends. So we'll just summarize the points then that I've made in this analysis video. First, I like this mid battle between OG and Vitality. It's two well-organized teams battling it out for map control. Um, I like the read from Alexi B, obviously expecting this aggressive mid peak from Zewu and they attempt to punish it. It doesn't come off, but I still think it's a nice play and a nice example of a trade of utility and information in middle. The next point is the rotations that Vitality make based off of that trading of utility and information in middle. They decide to push Shox and Kyojin up on A ramp because they've inferred a very heavy mid presence, while Zewu is currently rotating through CT so that he can hold from Ticket Booth. Not only can he keep an eye on A, but he can also keep an eye on middle passively. Vitality have chosen to give up the mid control and take some control aggressively on A ramp. And I really like this reaction from them. The next point of interest is this flash from Zewu. It's really unfortunate that Shox didn't get any kills in that, but a really, really nice play from Vitality to try and stop the execute in its tracks. Rather than sitting there and letting OG Esports have the initiative pushing out on site, Vitality try and take the initiative away from them with an aggressive A ramp peak. Absolutely love it. Really unfortunate Shox didn't get more done. The next moment is obviously this push through the smoke from Masuta, killing Nico and turning it into a three on three. Excellent play, but then immediately sticking around too long and dying to Valda to make it a two on three. Not so good. I think Masuta needs to make it one, done, get out of the smoke, turn it into a three on three retake. The next point is this mess of a play from Alexi. He sh probably should have smoked off one of the choke points. Maybe should have smoked off default, run around this safer way to get to a plant. Either way, I don't think the way they approach getting the bomb down here is very methodical or organized. I think the low time caused a degree of panic, and I think that leads to a round loss. The very final point, which is a minor one, I'm not going to criticize Mantu too much for this, but I think he needs to be a little bit more proactive once it becomes a 2v2, a 3v2 on the site. In a 5v5 execute situation, yes, sitting here and holding an angle and essentially being like an extra smoke almost for your team, preventing anybody from getting across a certain angle is a great idea but i'm not sure really what he's covering from here at this point once this smoke goes down i think he needs to move his ass and make something happen anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did you know the drill and if you didn't close your eyes you don't have to watch see you later guys